hi everyone in this video uh, we're gonna continue um, so we had to, we're gonna continue making the missile look good in the smooth shading and like you can see when we have a smooth shading things are not exactly looking as we expect that's because for smooth shading to work we can't just have simple edges defining the shape boundaries for the model we also need um, double edges kind of and the sharp edges defining the sharp edges we need to have split edges at the boundary edges um, to make it look good one way to do is a simple technique we go here somewhere in the object mesh check data and there should be a way auto smooth so when we apply auto smooth you see things are looking quite good the smooth shading but not exactly here we see something is not right it's because uh, auto smooth works uh, but it looks uh, almost uh, perfect so only few things are missing here and there I think uh, but if you don't want to use auto smooth um, another way to do is apply modifier called um, split edge modifier it's exactly the same like auto smooth essentially adding uh, multiple edges so defining the sharp boundary and also round but the thing is uh, as you can see if you look closely the reason we are having this here we have perfectly smooth for the top part but the for the bottom region here it's starting to look not right even though it's a round shape that's because we don't have any uh, loop cut around here so we can add it uh, while we have the edge split modifier using the knife tool um, let's go into the edit mode we use the knife tool and then select the vertices uh, and click again and then E to add a new cut so the knife tool will, will turn snap into the vertices and you don't have to worry about uh, anything else and then press a space to uh, finish so this is from the front let's look from the back by pressing ctrl 1 and we do the same k2 and uh, k2 start knife tool and you see it's a snapping e to new start a new cut snap so it automatically lock in to the vertex space to finish we look from the side as well i want to add k2 3 to turn to the side and when we are missing, we are adding and make sure it's locked into the vertices we don't want to want multiple vertices in, in, in the same place and control 3 to look from the other side left click left click to add and space to finish so now you can see that problem is gone once we added that thing we can also do the thing for every single bit uh, k2 and here also just to make it complete uh, every side we have to can use uh, one and three keyboard button and control to look at the other side this makes life easier and one to look from the other side k to start the knife tool and then now you can see things looking almost perfect we wanna do the same for everything here as well k2 add k2 add 
it's uh, really simple when you use the split edge modifier to smooth out and we can apply it or we can leave it so this is the beauty you don't have to learn how to maintain the so in the first we create the fundamental boundary edges uh, and then we smooth using edge split modifier so one back this side is missing let's use the k and uh, this side also now we go do same for every other uh, so here as well starting from here and adding there and uh, looking from because uh, they are all in the same uh, vertically uh, so the cart should uh, cut through the whole ridge the knife tool is useful to add edges very quickly so we have to confirm it whether we have added all the control R you see we now able to add the loop in that region and should be able to add same in this uh, region you can see control R to check and also even in this region you can see and we want to finish it and with the top part as well quickly should not take long and depending on the model you have but it's very important to have uh, first create the very simple model uh, using the flat shading and then you do the other thing like uh, using edge splits improve your model to look good in smooth shading because flat shading the disadvantage is the round objects the round uh, surfaces so doesn't look round you have to add more and more edges to make it smooth shading useful in that uh, context so now we have a check here it's all right and um, you can also do it uh, every other here as well you can see it's working there you can even do it for here just to make things uh, but now the smooth shading looks uh, perfect and our geometry looks really good let's save this um, you want to add more detail the shake of completeness uh, uh, you should be now if we go back to the our flat shading uh, and you can see flat shading is not good at making um, round surface looks nice but if we go to the smooth shading it looks perfect when we have edge we remove it it looks um, uh, it looks like this edge split let's activate that of the completeness uh, shape we can also even add a knife cut here as well and what it would allow us uh, to actually uh, add edge loops very efficiently without worrying about anything you can see now we have this control R is still not working just because we haven't done maybe for this region so knife tool is a very useful tool and, uh, and so otherwise you have to do it all this uh, by modifying the, so every other 
and it's just projected now if we say control R you see we are now able to add the loops because it is how the also able to add loop here every region is going to confirm it with the loop cut so to make it work even uh, for the complete net uh, complete the shake of completeness we can do the same for this bit as well and finally I want to recommend unless you are exporting the model uh, you normally keep the modifier before you export you just have to apply and then it will do the splitting for you so that exported model looks uh, nice in full shading in other programs uh, so this uh, now you can see I can add loop cut up so something is uh, missing maybe I should be able to add a loop cut but it's, uh, it's not working for some as I do a marginal case for distance uh, if I do control R yeah I'm able to add loop there but not here for some reason so uh, this could be that uh, we are able to add it here I'm not quite sure why it's not essentially there is something maybe missing uh, uh, that's why it's uh, but if we look closely maybe we'll find out but our case uh, is is uh, almost done and uh, yeah we can also add loop here so yeah so this is how you can smooth out our design to look uh, perfect almost perfect for uh, let's say this if we apply let's suppose we apply it our geometry still looks uh, but it's uh, applying the it's not apply okay thank you very much uh, please like the video and share see you next time